Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, respect due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. Okay, for the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son, our Savior. All right, I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. And uh, I want to hop into a lesson pretty much going into um, who your true family is and um, who your so-called family is, okay, Um, a a possibility, which more than likely will be the case, will happen when you uh, come into this truth, all right? So, uh... How willing it's edifying. Let's get straight into it. This is a uh, book of Saint Matthew 10. I'll start at 34. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am come I come not to send peace but a sword. Okay, because you got people um falsely believing that all right when you how I uh returns it's gonna be peaceful but the script when the scriptures talk about the day of the Lord you know it's nothing peaceful about it all right but this is the point verse 35 it says for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right. And um, pretty much um, when you come into this truth, you learn, all right, the true names of the Heavenly Father and his son, which the true name of the Heavenly Father, again, is Yahweh. All right. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, we learned that we're not Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that we are the true children of uh, Israel, okay? you uh, We start learning our law, statutes, and commandments. We basically um, learn that we've been lied to our entire lives, okay? So when you come into this truth, you know, and I am, um, and and, you know, I have done this where, you you learn and then what do you do? You want to wake up. <laughs> you want to wake up everybody. You want to wake up your uh, your mom, your dad. You mean wake them up as in telling them the truth. You know, you tell your mom, your dad. You tell your uh, your cousins and your uh, close friends, et cetera, et cetera, right? But then um, what happens? Okay, since you know. Our people, we've been taught a lie for so long that it becomes a cognitive dissonance, all right, where you've been told a lie so much that you believe in the lie even even though you have the facts and the proof in front of you, all right, which the facts and the proof uh, we present is what the word of, of God says in the, in the Holy Bible, Okay, we cut the doctrine, whatever false doctrines, whether it's uh, the the name of the Lord, uh, whether it's their appearance, what they look like, okay, etc. So, uh, I'm a perfect example because when I woke up and I learned, oh wait, the name the, the the that's not God's name and His Son's name. Oh, oh, they they the Bible describes them as so-called Negroes. Oh, the law is not done away with, so we we have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Oh, oh, so then you know you you want to wake up your you want to tell your family, your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, and what happens? 
they become your foes because they've been taught a lie so long when the truth is presented to them you they you come off as you're crazy you're bugged out all right um i told you know i told my mom and my sisters what i can't eat pork what oh hell no you get you're gonna get that you know God love, love everybody. What? Oh, no. John 3, 16. God so loved the world. I'm not understanding the meaning of the scripture and the, the definition of that world, world, you know. And what happens? They become your enemies. When I came into this truth, all right, for like my first uh, two years in the truth, uh, I was cut off from my family because they see me as being bugged out, you know, I I didn't speak to my mom, I didn't speak to my sisters, because they all turned against me, and they all saying, oh, you're a part of a cult, and you're a part of this and that, etc., all right, um, so they, there was a point in time where I had no contact for my, um, my uh my relatives okay because that's really what they are they're just related to you okay because your true family which we're gonna get are the ones that that are doing the work of the lord all right so you know my my um foes were the ones in my own household okay so but but then this is the beautiful part of it um they see the they in due time they see the growth and the improvement and the change cuz you put off the old man you you don't <laughs> you don't you're not in the truth smoking weed and cigarettes and uh you know selling drugs no you put that away and you come and serve the lord okay and uh, i will say this in you know due time you know um they seen that change you know they and that 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 glow that shine you know, starts coming forth from you, from your mannerisms, your conduct, etc., and they see that change. So I, I, I'll say this: you know, um, the, my relationship with my mom and somewhat of my sisters have improved, but <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that when all hell breaks loose and uh, the, the uh, this uh, our enemy Esau Edom the self-proclaimed uh, white race of people come after the men of the Lord that the, the, hey that doesn't change the fact that they won't rat you out in a heartbeat you know to 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 continue living in this present evil world all right that doesn't change the fact that they will rat you out oh yeah he teaches this he teaches that this is where he lives this is you know it doesn't change the fact that that's a, a, a great possibility. All right. So don't be surprised. Marvel not. You know, if even if your woman, it, the scriptures say, you know, marvel not. Let me get it. Marvel not if she transgress against the, I'm just typing it in. All right, this is Ecclesiastes 26 and 11. It says, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she tr trespass against you. So even your your woman, she will uh, trespass against you, you know, and it says to marvel not. Oh, my God, she would do. Why would you do such a thing? Don't Hey, these women will cheat on you behind your back, commit adultery, be with another man behind your back and you will never know it. So don't be surprised if she rats you out, all right, to the to the enemy as well. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I'm gonna grab a. Um, this is uh. Let me see. I think this is Matthew. Say Matthew's 12 and forty six. It reads 
while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. So um, this is Yahweh Shai's mother and his brothers uh, seeking to speak to him, which, you know, Yahweh Shai had brothers. OK. He wasn't the only child. It says, um, set, uh, 47, then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him that, that told him, who is my mother and who is my brethren? Um, 49. And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So he he told the he told them they were like, Hey, yo, yo, mom and your your brothers is looking for you. You know, they're trying to talk to you. And he told and he told them that he was like Who's my mom? Who's my who's my uh brothers? You know, and what he do? He he opened up his arms towards his disciples, the ones who were following him, and said, "This is my mom, my brother, my sister." Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, pretty much saying, "This is my family." Okay, this is who your true family is when you come into the truth. Your true family are the ones who do the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? And what's His will? Hey, we got to go out and do the work. We got to prophesy, preach this word, wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, be sincere, etc. We got we to do what's required of us as men of the Lord. We got work to do. Okay? That's who your real family is. And uh, let me see. I want to grab. Uh, let me see. I grabbed John 21 and 17. OK. And if you a hey, and if you if you love your um, your family, this is what you're going to do. This is a uh, I'm going to just get to the point. Uh, St. John 21 and 17. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? So this is Yahweh Shai speaking to Peter. Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou know that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, feed my sheep. You know, and and that's what that's how you show love, all right, to 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 your true family by what feeding the sheep, all right. Because if it wasn't for the men of the Lord going out there in the streets prophesying and teaching, waking me up, all right, and me becoming a part of the family, all right, doing the will, doing the same thing that they did, all right, from being taught by the the men of the Lord, I would have still been a, a goof ass in the world, smoking blunts. All right, committing wickedness, eating abominable foods. All right. So, hey, we have to we have to appreciate the fact that the Heavenly Father set us up a true family. All right. I've never been a part of something so great than being amongst the brotherhood. OK, they, we they take care of you. OK, uh, you, you these guys in the streets. They will have they will they will sleep with your woman behind your back and then say that they'll die for you. All right. That fake gangster love. You know, I, I, I trust these men with my life. All right. The men the great millstone. OK. Because, hey, they show me that love, you know, by feeding by feeding me this word. I become a part of the family, the true family, because they were doing the will of the heavenly father and now vice versa i'm doing the same yeah how willing this you know will wake somebody up all right so we got that let me see we read that all right and i want to uh, grab one more because uh you know disclaimer 
everybody who calls on the name and says Shalom, you know, they're not the, you know, they're necessarily not sincere as well. Because, uh, let me read, this is Jude 1 and 4, it says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before, to, before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men turning the grace of God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So you're going to have those who uh, are basically in this truth for the wrong reasons. Okay, and the spirit eventually will reveal it. All right. So for the for, um, you know, the new people waking up, you got to, um, you know, uh, keep that in mind that everybody uh, that that teaches his word isn't uh, uh, a true family member, a true brethren. You know, I'll give you an example because it says denying the only Lord God. And our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. How, how how do some people do that? Look at the camp called uh, IUIC, Israelite United in Christ. They don't call on the true name of God. They mock the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. They call on they don't call on Yahweh. They call on Most High God, which that's just a title. They don't call on Yahweh Shai. They say Jesus Christ. That's not His true name, you know. So they those men that are you know, teaching stuff like that, they're not a part of the, the true family because they're not doing the will of the Heavenly Father. Now, mind, there might be some men among certain of them groups who will wake up and, you know, leave that uh, false, those false teachings, okay? But ultimately, the ones who do the will of the Heavenly Father, you, you would be able to um, know who's sincere or not by... Um, if they're doing the will or not, if they're going out uh, teaching in the rain, cold, sleet, snow, okay, if they're um, teaching the true names, if they're actually being their brother's keeper, being sincere, looking out for one of an, one another, all right, so, um, you know, your real family, when you wake up into this truth, are the ones who are in this truth, pushing this word, okay, you're, 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 so-called family, which is just your relatives, they're related to you. Um, we read it. Hey, they're they're gonna they're gonna become your foes, and I experienced that. All right, and and it's a, a very great possibility when all shit break, all hell breaks loose, they're gonna come looking for the men of the Lord. Your your relatives, the ones who are your so-called family, gonna rat you out. Okay, and um. Not only that, but you got you got uh, fake uh, people in this truth as well that are in this truth for the for the wrong reasons, and you got to be aware of that. Yeah, how willing this is edifying. To next time, shallow one.